B. For points on the equatorial line. An equatorial line of a dipole is the line perpendicular to the axial line and passing through a point midway between the charges. Electric field intensity due to a dipole at a point lying on the perpendicular bisector of a dipole. Consider a dipole consisting of minus Q and plus Q separated by a distance 2A. Let P be a point on the equatorial line. E A bar is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q by A P square along P A. E A bar is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q by R square plus A square. E B bar is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q by B P square along P D. E A bar is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q by R square plus A square. The resultant intensity is the vector sum of the intensities along PA and PB. EA and EB can be resolved into vertical and horizontal components. The vertical components of EA and EB cancel each other as they are equal and oppositely directed. It is the horizontal components which add up to give the resultant field. E is equal to EA cos theta plus EB cos theta. EA is equal to EB is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q by square root of R square plus A square whole square is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q by R square plus A square. E is equal to 2 Ea cos theta. Substituting cos theta is equal to A by R square plus A square power 1 by 2 in the above equation. E is equal to 2 Ea cos theta is equal to 2 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q by R square plus A square A by R square plus A square power 1 by 2. E is equal to Kp by R square plus A square power 3 by 2 along Px as 2QA is equal to P. As a special case, if 2A much less than R, then E is equal to Kp by r cube along px. We find that at very far of points, that is 2a less than r, less than r. Electric intensity at an axial point is twice the electric intensity on the equatorial line.